expecting you to stay mm -hmm. Said maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this shit differently Things are different, I'm a new one That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking Even, even if you're asking Cause I do Forget to subscribe before you go y'all today is going to be a day i had planned on starting the vlog off and interacting with y'all a little bit more but it really just didn't go that way it kind of just went left but y'all saw i went out i went out for drinks with my girl ari we caught up had a couple of cocktails and i came home i was toasted roasted and fucked up and i went to bed so yeah i didn't pick the camera up anymore that day yesterday was a work day girl 12 years a slave okay i was up in there okay Nancy Hirsch. No, I don't need Vaseline. Oh, oh is this you again? Now stop it. Tell me exactly what stage you're in. Josh, keep the water. I gotta take this. Hold on just a second. yellow pages to drive up and really getting it handed to me and i had no time to even think well where i'm from that's called slavery i don't i took a late lunch yesterday because i was like really really busy so yeah yesterday was out of the question but today is saturday i woke up with a whole itinerary that i didn't even know i had i was like damn i gotta do this and this and this and yeah girl i got a lot to get done today so let me just run out through my schedule boom it's like 8 15 right now i'm about to go pick up my aunt she needs to go to target and i was on my way to target so she's like yeah come scoop me up i'm like cool whatever i'm gonna go get you boom so need to run a target then i also need to go to like um tj maxx or maybe ross i need to find a dog's a dog christmas sweater because they go to take pictures with santa claus tomorrow so they need to be bad they need to have a nice little sweater on for their picture their pictures at 10 o'clock in the morning so i need something for them to wear to do that and then girl what else we gotta do oh girl i got a date night with lucas at 8 30 i asked for the date night now i don't want it because i don't have time for it and then i also gotta pick my sister up from the airport at six o'clock i'm like bitch I need assistant. I need to like slip myself in half to do that. I want to give myself a pedicure. I want to put on my little press on, but I ain't got time to do none of that. And I have so much to do. I want to film a video, a wig review, because I want to wear my new wig tonight. But baby, I don't even think I have time to do that. So it's like, I definitely need that content. So it's like, I may be wearing an old wig today. And that's not where I was trying to head with it. I was trying to look good for my man for once in a while, because he say every time he see me, I got sweats on and I just don't look like nothing. <laughs> so. I was trying to get it together for little Lucas, y'all, one time. But baby, listen, mama is tired and my day just started. And I got to clean up my house. So, yeah, yeah. Y'all could just imagine the day I'm having. But anyway, I want to jump on, introduce the vlog, let y'all know that we actually running out the door. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into these errands so we can knock that shit out and see what we got to do or got time to do when we come home. Y'all, excuse my ashy hands, but I wanted to show y'all a hack real quick. This was in this lip gloss bottle. It's the little cap that keeps it from, um, you know, it kind of like wipes the side off of it so you're not picking up too much product. But my applicator with this on here would not go all the way at the bottom. And y'all see how much product I had left out of this lip oil? So I popped that bitch up with some tweezers and now I can get all the way in the bottom. Now you can't wipe off the sides, you know, it comes up like just straight forward like you get what i'm saying like i have a lot of shit on the stick and stuff like that you have to wipe that off yourself but girl don't be throwing away your rest of your product get everything up out of here okay god damn I'm sipping coffee 
I was tripping about the line over there, but look at this line. Oh, you want to go and dunk it, don't it? I just did my mobile order and pay for it. Oh, so now you got to go in there. Yeah. They got some. Hi, I have a mobile order for Megan. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Thank you. That's a hot drink or a cold drink? Hot. That's a little ass cup. What is that? Small? Medium. Wow. Oh, really a <laughs> tiny cup. Stop TJ Maxx and my camera is about to die. All right, guys, so I'm done with my makeup super quick. It literally takes me like 10 minutes to do this face. It's just so simple. For the fragrance of the night, I'm going to go in with my YSL Libre Girl. I don't know why my lips is getting all twisted up. I think that's because I'm running late as hell and my nerves is bad. And I'm like, this man is really going to cuss me out. But yeah, I'm going in with the YSL Libre because I just feel like this is such a nice scent for the evening. I'm about to get my boots, put my um, stuff in my bag. I can't forget my lipstick. And then... I'll check in with y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my outfit real quick. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a little hack that I like to do when it's cold outside and I'm wearing a dress, but I still wanna kinda be warm. I like to wear like really long socks and then I'll put on some leg warmers and I'll put them on with my thigh high boots and that provides like a layer of warmth when I'm like, I don't wanna wear stockings or something like that. So let me show y'all how this look. It looks a little cray cray. So I have on some long socks and then on top of my long socks, I have some leg warmers. And then I'm just going to put on my favorite thigh high boots. Because these are the only ones that don't slide down my leg. And yet time, child, these thigh high boots be falling down my leg. Because they kind of a little thin. Ugh. Ugh. And I need to mop my floor so bad, y'all. So please don't judge me. And see, they give it like a nice snug fit. And then my legs will be warm. So that way... I'm not showing too much skin and it's not so freezing cold. This is the outfit, this dress I got from Target. I have on like my regular little accessories and then I have on my little thigh high boots. Nothing special, I'm fucking late, let's run out the door. All right, you guys, I just found a spot to park and now I'm walking over right now. Walking to Chicago honestly gives me so much anxiety because I'll be just thinking a rat is gonna pop out any minute. Like this, sketchy, rat city. All right, guys, so I've made it back home. I went outside, I walked the dolls, did all that just, and baby, when I say it's cold outside, oh, baby, it's cold. I had to look at the weather. It said it was 35 degrees. Baby, where? It feels like 10. Like, the wind out there is insane. Like, they don't call it the Windy City for nothing because, baby, I was about to blow away in my wig. Thank God it's on extra tight. But, girl, it's so cold. But anyway, quick overview of the restaurant, the 
Franklin room. I keep on to call it the Randolph room. So bad. I don't know why. But it's the Franklin room. Overall, if I had to rate it on a scale of 1 through 10, I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. It wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't great. I feel like the atmosphere was really, really nice. It was a very nice, low-key, scenic type of place. If you're somebody that's into whiskeys and trying different um, whiskeys, they had like a whole extensive bar full of just whiskeys. All different imports and all that type of things. I don't drink whiskey, so I wasn't really into that. But if you're somebody that likes stuff like that, that would probably be a nice place for you to go and try all different whiskeys. Um, the food was very mediocre. I feel like it had potential to be good, but I just wasn't blown away about it. I had got the steak, the butcher steak, and it was it wasn't all that. Like my jaws was hurting from chewing. Okay. I was ready to spit it out like I gave my face a whole workout okay chewing that meat I got it a medium well typically I get my steaks a medium but the last time I had a steak and I got it a medium it was a little too undercooked for me it was given like medium raw but I should have got a medium and then sent it back if it wasn't like cooked you know well enough for me but I think I overcooked my steak and it lost all the flavor it was not juicy and then another thing is you saw they serve it to you in cut pieces i thought it was just gonna be a long piece of steak but no it, it was just okay the size the crispy potatoes they were okay baby it, it it really honestly tastes like the chef did not know what salt and pepper was okay and you know that's the minimal that they put on their food okay but baby no salt no pepper no flavor so now that we got that out the way because i did not um, take you guys with me earlier when I was vlogging because my camera died. I'm going to just show you guys what I got. So the first thing that I got from Ross was the sweaters for the boys pictures with Santa Claus tomorrow. I really wanted them to match but they did not have matching sweaters so I got them the closest that I can get. I really love like this old man look with the buttons and when I saw this one first I was able to find this one in the small for shadow and Teddy has the bigger size because he has a bigger body he's like a big body dog um but I thought this would be so stinky cute for them to take pictures in Santa so this is their outfits that they're going to be wearing tomorrow my auntie ordered them like little bow ties but they're not going to be here in time so that's kind of a bummer and then the next thing that they got were these little coats hello hello with the hood like stop it stop i literally could not deal so teddy and shadow both got these matching like quilted plaid coats with the hood so stinking adorable i tried to find one for ruby but unfortunately they did not have any in the extra large so ruby's coat looked like this and i thought this was so fucking cute it says fab dog it looks like the Patagonas. So you guys know the Patagonas sweaters and fleece and things like that. This is exactly the vibes that this give. And I thought this was so stinking cute. Of course, they didn't have it in pink. They only had like a kind of masculine color, but it's okay. She looks good in red. So we got her that. And then from Target, I got two things that was marked down on clearance. I got this little bralette top. Obviously, I can't wear this right now, but maybe in the summertime with some high-waisted pants or some high-waisted shorts or something like that. I think this will be super duper cute. This was on clearance for $4. Yeah, original price was $17. So, looked up on that. And then the next thing I got was this dress. Now, this is not exactly my style, but it was $9 and I could not leave it behind. I said, oh, baby, we're going to make it work for $9. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I was supposed to wear this tonight, but baby, when that wind was blowing a little too hard for me, I said... <laughs> no thanks another night for her so this is the dress right here it's kind of like has like this ruching in the middle and then the sleeves are um thin like see-through as you can see um but i thought this would be really really cute with some thigh high black boots have my girl sitting up gotta put my like extra push-up bra so i can look like i got some titties with a nice little necklace with some hoop earrings or something like i just feel like it would be a vibe Obviously, I would have to wear my long hair because, girl, the bob ain't gonna cut it with this. But I got this from $9, and I thought this was so stinking cute. And the last thing that I got, girl, was the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Now, y'all, I got these for free. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was an elf vendor out there and they were handing out these for free. The girl was so freaking nice. I was like, oh my God. At first I thought these was like miniature size, but girl, no, these are like the regular size that they sell for $10 yeah they just had put a sample little stick on the bottom and it was giving these out for free so i had got one and she's like girl you want another one i said i sure do if you're gonna give me two <laughs> that's good with me so i got two of these i am good on primers for a while because i already got one of the original and then i got the pink one with the nice mod. so girl i am good on primer i was like oh my god what else y'all giving out for free y'all getting out some lip gloss she's like nah just just this mamita and i was like okay i'm gonna be grateful and just go ahead and take my little primer and go get my shit but that's pretty much everything I got. The rest of the stuff that I got was just groceries, like boring shit. You really don't want to see that. But I'm about to get ready to call it a night. It is officially midnight and I had to wake up at 6 a.m. to run around with a chicken with a tick got off to get the dogs ready and get my house together and just all the vibes, all of the things. I thought I was about to clean my room up tonight because I was like, I'm not that tired, girl. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. It ain't gonna happen tonight. <laughs> freaking coffee because when I say <laughs> I am exhausted and I just woke up like girl I am exhausted and I literally just woke up y'all saw I was up baby it's still like nighttime okay when I walked outside the street lights were very much on like it's so gloom gloomy out it's so like still dark I'm like girl why am I up <laughs> why why my body is telling me like bitch go back to sleep but I cannot go back to sleep So anyway, I went, I walked the dogs this morning. I came back immediately through the ass in the tub. I am just trying to get some caffeine in my system so I can finish on with the rest of my tasks, which is going to be blow drying them just so I can fluff them up and they nice and white and fluffy if they let me because they don't like the blow dryer. I usually like to let them air dry, but baby, we got to leave out the door in a minute. Oh, Theodore, get off my couch, clean or not. You know, lost his mind. I keep telling y'all, my dogs don't be thinking that they black. This is the black house. Do not get on my furniture. All right, it's time to get the boys dressed. Here, you could have a treat, but you got to sit down and put your clothes on. Here. Here. They've already been fluffed out. It's time to put on a little cute outfits. Come here. Theo. Uh. Oh, y'all. Do y'all see how I have to fight with it? How I have to fight with these dogs? Be still, Bundy. Theodore Bundy. Oh, look at you, my handsome man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You look like a handsome man. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, you're so handsome. You ready, Shadow? Oh my god, you boys look so good. Oh, yeah, pictures with Santa. Come on, let's show our friends on YouTube. Oh, there you are, Theo. You look so handsome. Shadow, look at mommy. Oh, you look so handsome too. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, my boys. You look so handsome for your pictures with Santa Claus. Yes. Okay, that's it. <laughs>
they acted a plum fool. I don't think that we got any really good shots. But we'll see. The lady's going to send it in a Google Drive or something like that. So I'll share that with you guys once I get it. But now I'm on my way to Bath and Body Works and then I'm going home. Yeah, I'm coming now. cleanup mode like it's sunday i gotta go to work tomorrow and i got a bunch of shit to do i wanted to film a video before i like ended the day while i had did my makeup but girl i've been sweating i've been wiping my face like i don't even know if i'm gonna get around to that but i did a deep clean in the kitchen i wiped my backsplash i cleaned the like glass on the cabinets wiped the cabinets down wiped the door down girl scrubbed the floor like it's I've been over here cleaning my ass off. So I'm gonna put out the few little Christmas decorations that I got. I didn't get too much for the kitchen because honestly, I think I told y'all, I don't have nowhere to store this shit when the holidays over with. So I was trying to keep it real minimal. Um, I also am gonna be doing my spice jars. I need to wash the rest of them and let them dry out and everything like that. And then we'll put the labels on them, put the spices in them and put it on the rack. And then I have to take the old ones wash those and put them in a box for goodwill y'all i cannot take myself in this bob right now i just want to go like this what's up you know what i'm saying you know they call me you bob <laughs> stop playing like nothing off of the bob yeah I, it's my little stitch wig you know the motherfucking vibes <laughs> real bad like say nothing about a bob but anyway um i'm gonna finish cleaning up we're gonna do these spice jars we're gonna cook dinner and i think that may be all i got for y'all in this video it wasn't a whole lot i apologize i'm gonna show y'all what i got from um bath and body works too so let's finish with this and then we'll move to that Alright, 
so all of the bottles are labeled to match the things that I frequently use. I just need to go in and now decant them. And I think it just looks really nice. I think if I did white, it probably would have been too transparent. I don't know, but then I kind of feel like I should have did white. I don't know. But let me start putting this stuff in here. I just need to put them on the rack now but everything is in its containers and i'm literally obsessed you guys i am literally obsessed like how good does this look this looks so fucking cute definitely an upgrade from the ones that i had and i just think my little spice shelf looks so nice so I'm done with the spices. I took everything off that shelf, washed it down, wiped it down really good. Girl, I even wiped the wall. Like I was in here really, really fucking cleaning. But now that I'm done with all of this whole jazz, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to fry the fish because girl, it is almost 8.30 and that's ridiculous. I have to go to work tomorrow. So let's get cooking. And she too. I just can't quit you now cause I love you. Yes, I do. Can't let you go, baby. I can't let you go, baby. Cause I love you, I love you, I love you. No, no, Hey cousins, so for this version of the video, I am just gonna sit here and do a voiceover because girl, I have tried to add audio to these clips for the last hour, okay? I'm getting frustrated and I'm annoyed and ain't nobody got time for that. Like five songs, five tracks, and none of them wants to work yeah i don't know i think it's something going on with my iMovie i tried to update my um laptop 
my iMovie wasn't due for an update and baby I'm not paying Final Cut Pro $300 to do nothing okay if they had a cute little free trial I would have played in his face but $300 to make a video that I don't get paid for no that's too crazy to me so yeah I really don't know what's up I feel like I just need to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy another computer but my soul won't allow me to do it because I'm like but it still worked though but it still worked though but no, it still works. So I just, I can't do it, y'all. I cannot do it. But anyway, this video is so long, girl. I know. Y'all probably looked at it and said, I, I will. Megan, what the, what you think you running? A multi-million dollar um, movie production? Are you Walt Disney? Are you Lionsgate? Are you, I'm trying to think of all the big ones, Warner Brothers? No, babe, I know. I was really trying to empty out my SD card and just like get y'all fully caught up because I just posted my Christmas vlog. Baby, it is the new year, okay? Happy New Year to y'all because it's New Year's while I'm sitting here making this video. But yeah, I was playing in my butt. But yeah, this is my little meal and I'm going to go. Hey dolls, so I realized that I never came back and showed y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works, which is crazy. Really y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. I be wanting to vlog and I don't feel that it's forced or anything like that, but I be feeling like I be real antsy about starting to vlog and baby midway through it, I forget how to vlog. I'm like, I don't even know how to do this anymore. But anyway, I'm back before I go and <laughs> let me show y'all what I picked up from Bath and Body Works. Girl, I got the hiccups. I need somebody to come scare the shit out of me real quick. Let me look at my bank account. That'll fucking scare them away for sure, okay? <laughs> Lord, I'm at heart attack. Damn, this is some scary shit. <laughs> baby, I be looking at my account and I be like, what? Who spent that? That's all that's left? For real? Girl, it be me. I don't know what the fuck I be buying, but disappearing act, okay? My money goes faster than a man who was not trying to claim his kids, okay? Like, blink of an eye, and I don't, I don't understand why. You are not the father. <laughs> but anyway, the first thing I got was this water ultra hydration body lotion. It says apply, absorb, and feel hydrated. I thought this was really, really nice. I love um, anything that has hyaluronic acid in it. Oh, and this one has the hyaluronic acid in it. But I feel like I tried this on in a store and I was like, oh, girl, this is so hydrating. Like, I'm really, really impressed. Let me tell you something about this. And I think that this is going to go back and I'm going to exchange it for something else. But when you put this on, initially, you do feel like it's really, really hydrating. You get a little luster in your skin. And then two seconds away, baby, it's gone. It, it literally sinks into your skin. When they say water, baby, it's like water. Okay. When you wet your hand, it look wet. And after a while, it dries down. Same thing this thing does. So, I don't know. I just think that I'm really not a lotion kind of girl. I need a cream because me, on the scale of ashiness, baby, I'm superior, okay? Superior. Ashiness. I don't I don't understand. So, I don't think I'm a lotion kind of girl. I'm a cream. Cream. Oil kind of gal. Keeping on with this line, I also got the Water Ultra Hydration Body Butter. Now, the body butter is a little bit better than a lotion, but girl, same thing. Like... It's just not giving me cream, cream, cream. It is thicker than the, the, the lotion, but um, I don't know. But you know what? This one actually not bad. And again, it just has that really, really fresh scent. So, so the next thing I got is my favorite at Bath and Body Works is the aromatherapy line. I get the stress relief with eucalyptus and spearmint. This is like my go-to at night when I go to bed. A lot of people like lavender when they go to bed, which I do like to dabble in from time to time. But for me, the most relaxing thing that I could put on my body is mint. Minty things, anything that make my body tingle, baby, I'm going to go with it. So I got the um, moisturizing body wash, which I never get. I always get the foaming body wash where it's kind of like a body wash, shower gel slash... Um, bubble bath or foaming bath I always get that one but I wanted to try out the moisturizing body wash because I never had it before so I got the moisturizing body wash and that and then I also got the um the body cream not lotion so I got these two and I feel like I got something else oh girl I got the body wash with the foaming bath too so <laughs> I got both of them 
And last but not least, y'all know my man, my man, my man. I had to get something for Lucas, little big head self. And this is probably just going to go in his, like, stocking stuffer, even though we don't have any stockings or anything like that. But it's just going to go in a little bag on the side with his other gifts. But I got him the Mahogany Tiki Wood um, Hydrating Body Cream because, you know, girl, he came around and he ashy too. And I got him the Beard and Scruff Cream with Shea Butter. This doesn't really have a scent to it. I didn't even know that they sold this, but they, they sell the Beard Cream, the Beard Oil. They sell Shaving Cream. Like, everything from me and... But I don't know if he like a shaving cream or a shaving gel type of person. I don't know. I ain't trying to get into the logistics of him and his shaving. So I just got him a little cream for his little facial hair that's already struggling. Oh, uh, it do have a small scent. Very masculine, but nothing too crazy. And then I got him the Mahogany Tiki Wood Body Spray. Lucas is really not a fragrance type of guy. I bought him fragrances before, and he don't really wear them unless we go, like, to dinner or something like that. But any other time, he'll just do, like, a body spray. So I said, baby, put the axe down. I got you this instead, okay? So that's all I got during that trip. But I didn't show y'all. I don't think that I did. But previously, during Candle Day, like the last day I went in store and got some candles as well, I did do an online order that's supposed to be coming soon, like the big bulk of my stuff. And then when I was walking past during Candle Day, I was just out of store in the neighborhood. So I was like, let me drop in and get some more candles. So I got three candles um, in addition to the ones that I have coming. I got the Mahogany Tiki Wood Intense this is always a staple now the tea is this was supposed to be for lucas because he asked for a candle but i never seen the intense before so he can't have this like love you love you life but i think i'm keeping it so y'all don't tell him that he was gonna have that because he's not getting it and then the next thing that i got was my favorite 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 hands down favorite 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 favorite, favorite candle at bath and body works Probably the best that I know of. That was gone for a while, but I found out it's a seasonal scent or whatever. I thought this was something that you just have year round, but apparently not. So I had to stock up. It is the Paris Cafe. Baby, that's it right there. This right here will always be my favorite scent ever. Like I could smell this all day, every day. It is a coffee smelling candle. So if you don't like coffee and you don't like sweet, you would not like this. The notes on here is roasted, rich roasted coffee, sugared um, brioche, and warm uh, vanilla cream. But it smells so good. So I got two of these. And I also got two more coming in my online order. So that's everything that I've been doing. And today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, you guys. Happy hump day. I am off work Thursday and Friday, babe. Put that PTO in real quick don't ask to see me i won't see y'all leave me alone until i come back on monday but i'm off for the next two days after i finish my work today and i was just like i love that for us so today i'm actually having a movie night at my house the girls is coming over if y'all can see my kitchen in the background girl it is a mess <laughs> it's a mess and i have people coming to my house in three hours babes i still gotta go to trader joe's and get the tequila because you know these hoes like drink a little reposado so i need some tequila i was gonna get like some spinach dip and then my cousin made like sandwiches and i think she said meatballs so it's gonna be like little hors d'oeuvres that people could just pick up and snack on while they watch the movie and um drink and that's pretty much it so i decided to do today because i was off tomorrow so i'm like i can sleep in i could da -da -da. But babe, when you work in full time and you try to have an event the same day, it's difficult. It's difficult. So anyway, I am having like a midday drink. I am about to drink me a matcha. And I wanted to show y'all this matcha because girl, it is so fucking good. Okay, so they are pre-made drinks and I bought quite a few of them. I have a total of four that I'm going to be trying out. The first one that I did try out was the focus this is by the brand rebel and like i said this is their focus matcha latte it has 3000 milligrams of matcha in it which is pretty much a nice significant amount of matcha and they make it with coconut milk y'all know i don't do any dairy so i thought this is perfect and it tastes so fucking good the only thing is it's not sweet and y'all know y'all know your cousin loves sweet i love the sugar so i have to add like some vanilla syrup to it to make it like a, a comparable matcha latte for me but it's really really good and i try to go to whole foods and buy another one and girl they were so out 
yeah babes didn't have any more so that's how fucking good it is that it sold out but anyway i did pick up some more to try from this brand rebel i got their wellness berry root um it has calcified sea algae 4700 milligrams of that um, it says sweet refreshing berry balances with notes of beets and carrot so i guess it's kind of like a, a smoothie type of drink and then i got the rebel wellness tropical greens this one has pineapple passion fruit and greens it also has the calcified sea algae in it the same amount and then i got this maca mo mocha maca mocha maca mocha maca mocha girl that's that's a mouthful but anyway it says delicious dark chocolate coconut milk and powerful maca i don't even know what maca is i want to say maca is a mushroom but i think it's supposed to help you focus girl i don't know don't give me the line but baby you could google it for yourself for sure but i got these three to try out because i haven't had them yet but i'll let y'all know how they taste because one thing about i'm gonna buy some drinks when i go to whole foods that's what most of my damn car be consisting of drinks the tequila and then the um, strawberry margarita mix my cousin made sub sandwiches some jerk chicken salad and meatballs and then i got some spinach, art spinach artichoke dip it's taking forever to cook child and then i put the buffalo dip in the living room girl it was just this little buffalo dip from trader joe's so my friend said it's okay it ain't the best so if you try it out just know you probably gotta doctor it up you clean and proper Way I'm moving the weekend lover You gonna me on your mind forever Ever Nice baby Turn it down like a sweet and ready Go slow, keep it nice and steady What have you been keeping patient? Too bad I've been sticking out your mind Too bad I know you like it how I rock it from behind I know you stand it how you taking all my time Left, right, can you take it all the night? Taste it and let me know what is it giving. Mm, it's giving good. Is I it like it. Mm -hmm. We don't need to add out the extra. Mm -mm. Is it strong enough? Um, you I want think, some more tequila? No, I think we're good for this one. Okay. She like me. She might be what I need. She get spicy. Want to taste this? Come by me. Yeah, I'm icy. Way too icy. I get paper. I'm big screen. I'm spiky. I'm vibey. Just vibey. Too wavy. I can tell they wanna get like me. Yeah. I'm vibey. Just vibey. Too wavy. Come and get like me. 
I'm never living a bit in I Timmy straight shooter I'm dumping the clip that I'm dipping Hitting the mark with the waviest art I rage with my heart and it's right with my wrists Cut up the pay with the real ones I see if you million we want it We need it, let's get it Long live the niggas that get it And live how they say it A sentence, we really the trillest Please don't pretend with that love that you sending this if you like me, I call me the Bennett Somebody tell God, forgive me, I'm sinning I think that she know, but he got me, I'm winning Cloud is a dangerous drug and your phone is the plug Everybody on that shit pretending So many lost and they chasing what's trending Well, yeah, let's forget it, I'm back to my sis I'm only helping a man in the mirror From here on, I'm open, I'm focused Okay, I lied, if you riding, I'm riding I put on the folks and trust it Hi guys, happy Friday I know I have not talked to y'all in a couple of days I don't even remember the last thing I filmed I think it was the girls night that I had at my house and then yesterday which was Thursday I was off on PTO but I spent that whole day just cleaning up my house getting everything in order after the girls left you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys but today's Friday I'm about to get ready to go to happy hour with Ari we're going to STK downtown um, we may go to another happy hour spot if we have time I don't think we have time because it's already pushing four o'clock and I'm still at my house but anyway just wanted to come talk to you guys um i'll show you my outfit i'm about to do my fragrance real quick i'm wearing my opi black opium my opi lord isn't it my ysl black opium maybe opi is a fucking nail polish do you see this is why i cannot walk rush because it never works for me Woo! okay but anyway all right you guys this is what i'm wearing nothing special i have on this zara bodysuit my black pants from plt and then i have on these like black heel boots and then i'm wearing my black clara bag i want to say that's what it's called but real simple gold accessories you know you know top nine all right you guys so i'm in a car picking up ari on my way to pick up ari um we were gonna uber downtown but it's just i'm just gonna go drive and pay to park because uber prices right now are 25 dollars. by that by that time i could have paid to just park in a lot somewhere or either park on the street so i'm gonna drive down there um i think i don't know if i told y'all but we're going to sdk for their happy hours from three to six it is currently four o'clock so i think by the time we get there it'll be 4 30 but usually what i like to do is like when i go to happy hours i always get two drinks right up front like so they can't say i missed the cutoff time baby let me get two right now because i'm gonna drink this one now and this one later in case y'all want to play with me so i think we'll be good um they have like a nice little menu for like their little small plates and things like that and i think the cocktails are like nine dollars so not bad we were going to do a happy hour hop like go from one place to the next place but baby the way my time was setting up and the way that i'm running late and i was rushing today we ain't got time for that we probably just do sdk and that's it but it was one of the happy hour place that said it goes until seven so if we can find that place then we'll probably go there but anyway i'll talk to y'all later City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. I was born in the city. I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's gone. Blocks up on love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends, and I want to thank every brick. I want to thank every entrance to every building that I step in. In this city of mine, I owe you most my best moments in life. See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park. I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall. I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to go. Off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want. Keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt. And all right, you guys, we just left STK. We had like a quick little snack there, but now we're walking over to Hooters because I want buffalo wings. Ari, are you good with buffalo wings? Yes, I love me some wings. So yeah, we're going with the wings reside, and then we're, we're going to go reside. to and another. Where are we going? After Girl, that? ain't no money that at Hooters. Not there, but. <laughs> After that. After that, yeah. But we're on our way to Hooters. We are going to Hooters on Whale Street to get some wings. I'm starving. My God. Girl, that food at SCK was cute, but for their little happy hour, they give you a spit of food. I ain't got time for that. 
Me and Jack will get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back while I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure so I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that Alright you guys so I am back home from going out I dropped Miss Ari off at home and then I hightailed it back here We went to the STK and we also went to Hooters <laughs> Cause I wanted some wings Y'all know one thing about me I'm always down for some wings and stk just wasn't giving the vibes that i wanted i didn't want no steak i don't want nothing i just wanted some fucking wings and then when i get to food i didn't even get any like actual wings like bone-in wings i had got that little boneless combo thing that they had and it was just like really mediocre i played myself i should just got the wings which is what i'm used to when i'm like i stick with but i was trying something different and i played myself but stk was nice their little happy hour was really really cool I would probably say that if you ever do like a STK um, happy hour, no matter what location you go to or whatever state you live in, I'm pretty sure STKs are pretty um, popular franchise, but I would go just for the drinks alone. The food itself is kind of a joke. They have like really appeasing options like Wagyu um, tacos or short rib quesadillas, steak frites, burgers, like things like that but the portions <laughs> the portion size is a fucking joke <laughs> is this some kind of sick joke <laughs> so i ordered the little mini burger and trouble fries y'all when i say this burger was this big yeah, it was this big. I said, are you fucking for real? I mean, I know it was $6, but baby, for $6, I could have went and got a Big Mac. It was this big. With like five fries. Yeah, it was a joke. I didn't get a chance to show y'all the food because another, a whole other situation is it was so crowded at the bar. Um, we were like standing. We had one seat and then like Ari and I kind of like alternated between like sitting and standing. Like when she was sitting eating her food, she sat down. And then when I was eating my food, I sat down. But girl, it was just like too much going on that I was over it. Um, so yeah, the drinks were cool. The drinks were good. I would definitely say if you go, just go for the drinks alone for their happy hour specifically and not so much the drinks because they just are not giving. And then, like I said, afterwards, we went to Hooters. We had margaritas there. And actually, Hooters margaritas, they had $6 margarita specials for the house margaritas. And it wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at it at all. Definitely, definitely enjoyed that little $6 margarita. For sure. I got my Bath & Body Works candle ordered in the mail. Let's go and get into it. And see what I got. Honestly, y'all, I don't even remember what I ordered. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember what I ordered. I do know that I only ordered six candles. And then I bought um, three in the store. I think I told y'all already. So I have a total of nine that I bought for candle day. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so the first one is a new one for me. It's called Tis the Season. It is a rich red apple sweet cinnamon and cedarwood candle oh wow this smells fucking good it smell it literally smells like christmas like if you think of like christmas in it like in a scent this is what it smells like this smells so good. I didn't think that I was going to like love that, but I actually really, really like that. It's very heavy on the cinnamon. So if you're not somebody that's like heavy on cinnamon, you probably are not going to like it. And this is, I think, is also a new one. Yeah. This is Crunchy English Toffee. 
the notes on this one is sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee, a dash of vanilla extract. What natural essential oils? This is another good one too. Damn. I like that a lot. So right away, like I will tell you like what it kind of reminds me of like instantly I, I smell like caramel you know what this smells like okay in Chicago we are very known for our popcorn and our mixed popcorn Garrett's popcorn is a very famous um, Chicago staple like if you come to Chicago people always go to Garrett's popcorn this smells like Garrett's popcorn caramel scent like their caramel scent or caramel, caramel, whatever you want to call it. This is what, this reminds me of Garrett's popcorn caramel. Like, hands down. And it smells so good. And then the other ones I got are scents that I'm already familiar with. Um, spiced apple toddy. Child. Oh, I did my press-ons too when I was at Hooters at the table. Yeah, real ghetto, but I did them. So yeah, those are my little press-ons that I did at Hooters. I know I got two Paris Cafes, and I think the last one I got was, which one? Raspberry Thumbprint. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. This is another new one that I got on the world. But all I can say is no, 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 no. That was horrible. I don't really like this. It don't really smell like nothing. I feel like if I liked this, it wouldn't have a lot of throw. It says buttery shrimp bread, rich raspberry jam, sprinkle with powder sugar. Sprinkle with a powder fool. It's not given. But anyways, you guys, that is pretty much it. I'm probably about to take a shower and rinse this makeup off. I think Lucas is going to come over and spend the night. I'm not really sure. He just got off of work. So I don't know if he's really going to fill up to it. But I asked him if he wanted to come and have a movie night with me. And he said he'll let me know. So we'll see. But anyway, I'm about to walk my dogs because it's already 930. And y'all know I try not to be out too late with them because motherfuckers is crazy. So... Yeah, if I end up having a movie night with Lucas, I'll pick you guys back up. If not, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at A spot where I don't spend no money, just some time at I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little I brought some weed and baby, maybe we could burn a little She said you're funny, I said no, I'm David and I left Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath I'm headed to the city with my chance to make it best Hey dolls, happy Sunday I think I last talked to you guys yesterday I said we were going to run some errands and that I was going to come back and I was going to pick y'all up. But honestly, keeping it all the way 100, I laid in bed literally all day yesterday. I was on my bed and I made my way to the couch. But girl, I did nothing. I stayed in my house. It was a rainy day. It was a gloomy day. It literally stormed all day long. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going outside. I'm not. And honestly, I feel like I owe that to myself like i feel like some days you need to just like lay in bed or lay around and do nothing like i feel like i don't give myself enough grace in that regard because i'm always doing something i'm cleaning up or i'm running here or i'm doing this or i'm doing that like i never allow my body a moment to sit down to be calm to be still and to just relax and yesterday was that day like i just really needed a mental break from life and just the day to be lazy and like just a day of leisure of doing absolutely nothing so that's what i did so didn't talk to you guys didn't do anything i didn't cook i didn't like i literally did nothing yesterday so it was nothing to see but today i am up i'm cleaning up because it's sunday i go back to work tomorrow tomorrow you know i work the whole week and then that following week for christmas i'm on vacation hallelujah thank the lord to that and i don't go back until after the new year so definitely looking for more leisure time to myself but I'm over here. I'm cleaning up, girl. I've been cleaning up. I've been having my music on, girl. I was just listening to Tony Braxton whining like a whale, child. Not her, but me trying to emulate it. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I got my new espresso machine. I think I showed you guys 
I actually has, haven't recorded it yet, but you'll probably see it. I was going to do everything I bought for Black Friday video, just a video of everything I had been buying. But then I'm kind of thinking like, I don't even want to do that. But anyway, if y'all see it, just act like y'all, you know, whatever. But I bought an espresso machine. I got it on sale during Black Friday. Now, this is a real espresso machine. Now, my espresso is cool. It has the little capsule, but this actually takes espresso grounds. You got to press it. You got to brew it and you got to do all those jings. I want a good ass cup of coffee and I feel like this is going to give it to me. I'm about to clean up. I need some energy. I feel like this is going to have me running around here like a crackhead that just had a real, 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 real good hit of crack. So, we're going to try it out. Why am I always referencing crackheads? Y'all, I do not agree with drugs, okay? Don't think that I'm endorsing drugs. Like, no, that is not the case. We don't do crack. We don't do that. Your crack is whack. So I'm just saying. Have you ever seen a crackhead off a good hit? I have, baby. I live in a the hood. They be around here like, baby, they, you would have thought they were Superman. You would have thought they were one of the Avengers. Baby, baby they be spiraling, okay? So I'm just trying to see what that would look like with coffee. So we're going to find out today. So what I do like about this is it has so many settings. It has just like a single shot of espresso like we just wanted the coffee. It has a cappuccino. It has a latte. It has an Americano. And then manual and like the little froth thing. I don't know. It has the self-cleaning. Like it has a lot of shit on here and I'm really, really excited about it. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's just go ahead and unbox it. What people like to give a little, then you take the rest. I'm hoping one day maybe I can find a place to rest. I fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next. I like the hustle and bustle. I fell in love with the fashion. I feel the pulse of the city is moving me like a passion in its mind. machine i did like the little clean cycle three times and i washed it out real good um with some dawn and you know water whatever so we're gonna go ahead and get ready i'm using the cafe bustello for my espresso powder because this is all i saw at jewel and then in the uh, reservoir for the creamer i'm gonna use my shibani extra creamy oat milk and then a little bit of my um coffee mate oat milk creamer the brown sugar one I don't really know what's the vibe I'm going for, but yeah. So I'm gonna, ooh, let me actually tilt y'all down so y'all could see. One of the things that I will say that I noticed straight away with this machine is it gets piping hot. Like my Nespresso, it don't really be that hot when it come out that I always have to nuke it in a like microwave, but baby, this is hot, like even a cup is hot. So let's give it a taste. Whoa. Baby, this is some strong ass coffee. 
this is gonna have me have a whole panic attack like my anxiety will be through the roof i'm a little nervous child now another thing that i will say is for my like lattes i typically like it to be on the more creamier side like have more milk in it and i don't think that it puts enough milk in here to my liking and then another thing that i noticed with the machine is it frosts the milk first and put the milk first and then the coffee on top i always thought that the coffee goes in first and then you top with the foam and the milk you know to pour it off into it at least that's what the baristas do when they make it um and it's not coming from a machine so i think that's a little asshole backwards i don't know if it's a setting or something that i gotta play around with but yeah the milk come out first then the coffee i don't like that but anyway i'm about to put some more milk in my nespresso frother and just add it on here and i think it'll be good but right now this is the strongest cup of coffee i definitely am impressed with the machine i wanted real coffee and baby i got it for sure for sure hands down